All right, so apparently I'm supposed to give this to Morrigan. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Where the hell did it go? Oh, here it is. What have you there? A mirror? You could not know it, but I possessed something very similar long ago. I stole such a mirror from a village, and Flemeth was enraged at my carelessness. She destroyed it, much to my dismay. You told me. It is me. incredible that you found one so like it. I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. It is simply a present. For a beautiful woman. I have never received a gift. Not one that did not also come with a price attached. But I would be a fool not to accept such a gesture with grace. Your gift is most thoughtful. Thank you. I know, isn't it great? Now then, uh, where's Zavron? Zavron! I've a question, if I may. Go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. This is... Ew! No, I'm not going with number three. Uh, does your oath expire then? Not precisely. I said I would serve you until you saw fit to release me. One simply assumes that once your Grey Warden business is finished, you would have no need of an assassin to follow you about. Am I wrong? I could always use a friend. Indeed. Mm. I might even be glad to call myself such, come to think of it. It is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? Sure do. It's all right, Zavron. I'd say, hmm... I suppose the crows are already furious, yes? What harm is another tweak to their nose? Oops. If you wish to be trained in the basics of an assassin, I can certainly show you. Or anyone else who is also a rogue. It shall be fun. I will make it fun. I promise. Yay! Let's go ahead and put a point in that. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I... I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Okay. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. That is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. Oh. She's got a song. It better be a good one. Yes, seduce me, redhead. Good boy. What's that racket? <laughs> B. This makes no sense. This is not battle.
Was that it? Now, my question is, did that break the world map? It did not. Okay, Liliana. Out. <laughs> so go help Alistair make supper. For, uh, for once, a clear night. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light undimmed. There is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know? Oh, I already heard this story. I'm just trying to get you to tell me about the fucking people. The, the, the damn. The, there's supposed to be something you're supposed to ask her. And it's about, like, uh. What's it? You you know, you heard bards were minstrels or minstrels were bards. Something about an Orle. Oh. I see you're still with Morrigan. I thought you said she didn't mean anything to you. What are you playing at? You tell me you like me, that I mean something to you, and you have her on the side? What the fuck? It's not fair to either Morrigan or me. Do you say the same things to her that you say to me? The fuck? The what? I didn't say... What? I agreed to help her out. What the fuck are you on about? I know it isn't fair and I'm sorry. Just show me some respect. Show us some respect, please. What do you want from me? Stop playing with my feelings. If you want her, I care for you. More deeply than I can say. But I... I can't watch you going to her all the time. I love Morrigan. I... The fuck? Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? This... Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, here it is. Oh, I've heard that in Orle, minstrels are often spies. Why did you hear this? I read it in a history book. And did you not think that this could be historical fact and no longer true? <laughs> not all the minstrels that are laugh? spies. Most are just singers and storytellers. But some of them are... Are what we call bards. And the bards are spies? Bards are minstrels and more. Spies, as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Uh, do they spy on Ferelden? Some do. Mostly, it is nobles spying on other nobles. In Orle, there is much rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence, and the favor of the empress. But they could not do this openly because it is impolite. And in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. In secret, they plot and scheme to destroy each other. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. You were a bard, weren't you? I have revealed too much, it seems, but it doesn't matter what I used to be. It is the past. Also, why the hell was she getting all, you know, oh, I thought you loved me. But, like, I literally said we should just stay friends. And it, what the fuck? What is her problem? Uh, but why are we even living in the lo whatever the hell? I found myself in Ferelden and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry. And when the storm passed, I just did not want to leave. I like to see the maker brought me here. Yeah, bullshit. Okay, I know what to do with you. There you go. Why, thank you so much. There you go. There you go. You're fine now. Or again. It's cold in my tent all alone. Oh. <laughs> The thicker blanket. <laughs> well, we can't have that. So you shall come to my tent. But whatever shall we do in that tiny little space together while we wait for it to warm? I'm sure well, I'll think of something. Good. Then let us waste no more time with foolish talk. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Leliana, take a look. This is exactly what it looks like. Maybe you do... Maybe, I don't know, don't bitch at me next time. 
Especially when I didn't do anything. I literally did. Oh my. I like how the music is just. <laughs> yes! Yeah! This is what I wanted to do. I see the stories they tell of Grey Warden endurance are not exaggerated. <laughs> oh? There are stories? <laughs> Indeed there are. The unanswered question, of course, is whether the endurance exists because of the taint within you, or because the Grey Wardens are by nature so very healthy. Oh, I enjoy my. the thought that tis a little of both. Natural prowess driven by a darker side. Oh, yes. Yes. So, was this a one-time thing? That is entirely up to you. Simply know that I have no designs on your independence. I wish only to do what I desire, and if that coincides with what you desire, then so be it. And should you decide not to continue our misadventure, then so be it. Very simple, is it not? Hmm. I can live with that. Then we should get along marvelously. <laughs> Come then, let us be off before the others begin to stare. I believe I wanted Leliana to stay. <laughs> it's gone wild. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that didn't break the world map, did it? It didn't. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, that that's amazing. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Uh, this was a talent character record. Okay, change party. I think I know what to need to do now. Um, ironically. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Oh, we're going to Fleming's hut. Ah, crap. I think the game broke. Yep, the textures are... God damn it. Oh, this game. Okay, okay. Seems like the game has stopped breaking. On it. Oh, can't unlock. Hey, Flemeth. What you doing? And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her too. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? We know your little secret, Flemeth. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? She knows how you extend your unnatural lifespan. That she does. The question is, do you? Ah. But it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? What do you propose? Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. And what happens to you? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? You think she would believe that? We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. What do I get out of it? <laughs> you get to keep her for a time. No. Shame. What will it be, then? Mm. Now you die. It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come, she will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. Oh boy. Um, Leliana, you're swapping to... 
Okay, well, you do you do what you're doing. You go you do that. Um Spooter, come on out. Oh, well, god damn it. Spooter. What are you doing? Attack it, dummy. Don't run away from it. You wanted to squish things. This is your chance to squish shit. Ah. Fire, bad. No. Taunt it, Shale. Get the... Get Flemeth. Ah. You, drink a lyrium potion. You need it. I'm dying. Ow. Ah. Stop knocking me down, bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. You. You need precise striking. I hate to tell you, Plymouth, but I have shale. Oh, crap. Um, Greater Lyrium Potion. Ah! Spooter! Stop healing the Spooter. Spooter's fine. Oh, sh shale! Um, Revival. Okay, uh, heal shale. Oh, oh. Crap. Uh, regeneration on shale. Uh, me? Use... Health poultice? Leliana, you're fine. Just stay over there. Ah! No! No, please! My face! I can't handle this much! Ah, um... Lyrium Potion. You. Me. Sp don't summon the Spooter. Spooter sucks. Ah. No. Potion. Save me. I don't want to die. No. Shale, get it off. Taunt or something. Ah. Potion, save me. Haha! <laughs> Good shale. Ah, stunned. Ow! My face! Shale! Ow! Heal shale! Ah! God, stop kicking me in the face, you bitch! Potion! Oh. Ah! Honestly, fighting a flame is such a pain in the ass. I probably should have given Shale a fire. God, stop it! You're getting a manicure whether you like it or not. Oh ho ho! Plymouth the shapeshifter, Plymouth key. I'll take it. Thanks. This is a pretty decent looking hut, Let's get even if it is in the middle of nowhere. You use the key. Let's see. Robes of possession: five magic, twelve defense, eight spells, maybe one willpower, twenty percent cold damage. Plymouth's grimoire. So, Leliana, how does it feel that you helped out Morgan? Just saying. Let's get Remember that time you gave me all that shit over who are you choosing? What are you playing at? Yeah. Eat it. She is a very beautiful girl. I can see why. Oh you my god. Oh my fucking god. No hard feelings then? Of course not. You are a dear friend. 
and I want you to be happy. And whatever you choose, know that I will stand by you. Cool. Don't care. Leave me alone. God. Shale win Morgan, here you go. Okay, wait. Save, 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 save. Hey Morgan. I got that grimoire. <gasps> Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Cool. So... Oh, 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 also... I got you something, Morrigan. Health regeneration. <laughs> Get that garbage out of here. You need this. <gasps> Oh, when you go back to your old equipment. Oh my goodness, it looks so good on you. I missed you. <laughs> Why weren't you wearing this before, huh? Oh well. 